Have you been to California? Seen the sights and people there? Howdy all, we are on the way to Bowling Ball Beach. Hopefully. BBB. And um, so the thing, you get it mile 11.41, which is about three miles south of Point... Arena. Arena. <laughs> and we're me, right actually. across from Schooner Gulch. And that's where we're going to start. It's approaching 8 p.m. and so this time of year being, what are we, summer solstice, honey? Yes. Okay. And so we're going to be heading down the path and hopefully we'll get there, uh, I'm guessing it's about 15 minutes or something around that part. And I'm kind of wondering about part of this trail. It's supposed to be down a hanging ladder. So Kaliki's not coming along and we're going to see if we can make the best of it. I'm sure getting down will not be a problem. Getting up, well, good luck with that, right? So we'll check you out in a little bit. Well, that's pretty cool. Here it's been only about two or three minutes and we're already at the top of the cliff seeing the water. So, hey, that was a lot shorter than I thought. I'm guessing it was only about two tenths of a mile for the whole descent. Of course, we're not down there yet. Some may get down quicker than others, hopefully. No trips and falls. Nice wooden steps here. They did a really good job of building this. Very easy to walk on it. Oh, the famous rope. Well, this isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Oh, God. Oh, they will say this would not be easy for a dog to go down. What the hell? What do you mean, what the hell? I'm Oh, come on. There's nothing to it. What? What are you talking about? Nothing to it. You're insane. Like, like the guy said, just don't bring too much camera gear. I'm scared. Keep your knees bent a little bit and just take one step in front of the other. If you're thinking about fear, you will not be good. But keep your knees bent. Just keep a lower center of gravity. Breathe. Breathe. Okay, I think I'll... Go okay. Down. Come on. I don't know what to do. Just put one step in front of the... Keep a lower center of gravity. You're standing up too straight. That's it. If you need to, you can scoot down on your keister. Well, this is only because I love you so much. Keep a low center of gravity. Okay, we're going to have a lot of bleeping here. <laughs> <laughs> well, the good news is there's water if you... Want to just dive in, but it's only about six inches deep. That's, that's the bad news. That's true. I won't fall that far. That helps. You know, I can see where it's actually harder to get going down than it is getting up. Uh -huh. right. Hold on this one, and then this one. Hey! <gasps> so look, did at, it. look at this poor person. They didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, so I guess we still have that maybe tenth or two tenths of a mile from the bottom to get over to bowling ball so we might as well go around this some of the people say we're saying that there was too much rocks it's not that bad oh, it's bearable well we have been told this was the time for a low tide at what was the time it was supposed to be at like 645 so we're about maybe an hour behind I don't think it should have changed that much famous last words Oh, ye of such little faith. Maybe we can see the tops of them anyway. Well, here's um, a couple of the ones that got the gutter balls, apparently. Oh, we got some more here. Definitely, some of them are out there a little bit beyond our range. Oh, brother. Looks like I fouled this one up. Um, all the thousands of bowling balls that are out there in the ocean uh, can hardly see them. And all I'll get is a handful on the shore. Hmm. Whoa! Well, so, okay, here's the tough decision. You know, when you come across to find that, well, 
there's some trade-offs. Here's the baby. I kind of like this. It's about the size of a bowling ball, and it, you know, it's got all these little thumb holes there to get the right for your fingers and your thumb. So it kind of reminds me of bowling ball, but it's probably about 10 pounds of cargo to go up that hill. So, decision time. Do it or leave it? What do you think? Oh, hell yes, let's do it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh-huh. Ah! Oh, what could be the problem here? It's just like a shot put. Oh, why not? It's a fine baby. This is going to remind us of the bowling ball. And I know you're going to help me take it up the hill too, aren't you? I'm going to carry it right up that doggone rope. Okay. <laughs> okay, and so here we are at Sunset City. And um, we're going to ascend up. You can see that the sun is indeed going down. And Grace is going to um, show us just how graceful she really is. <laughs> hey there, little lady. You got your cane? Okay, she made it. Now there is this guy. Okay, so I got my camera bag here with all my gear. Yeah, I got, I got my camera here, and I've got this, <laughs> I don't know, 15-pound bowling, bowling ball rock in my jacket with a little bit of luck. It'll stay there and not crush my chest if I fall on it. You got the rope, honey? I ain't no rope-a-dope. Look at you go! You make it look easy. Hmm. Okay, step number one. In fine print. Oh, this is much easier going up. You know, I think this was supposed to be tied up here to the this guy here. But it looks like it's no longer there, so oh well. We'll make the best of it. Howdy. Hi. How are you doing? Good, how about you? Good, you gonna spend the night? Uh, no, it's probably a couple hours. It should be fun. I'll Good seeing you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, this is a great spot. I loved it. I uh, bet does it get, get misty and wet going down, so is it more slippery in the morning? It can be. Um, yeah, I mean, I think this one, one little spot right here where you had a little... Trouble. Yeah, that's oh, the only yeah. spot. Yeah. I think these are the work, but... You just use, you maybe get on your hands and feet. <laughs> rip, rip and rip it. I've done that before. Exactly. Yeah. Well, you have a great night. You too. Hey, take care. See you now. Oh, oh this is too pretty not to stop and get some pictures. One final for the sunset, and then it's Tally Ho. So on day one, you can't always get what you want. Um, regarding our photos, well, I guess we go for some detail shots and some nice sunset shots and um, also some texture shots, and hopefully tomorrow is going to be a better day. Okay, we're at it again here at Bowling Ball Beach, and um, this is about 6.30 in the morning. And we're going to try to get it when the tide is truly low. Last time, I thought, well, we're in an hour or two. It shouldn't matter that much. Well, as Grace pointed out, the professor struck out. Well, at least a couple strikes. It was okay. But um, this time, we're going to try getting a little bit better pictures when the tide is truly out. And we have Wonder Dog Kaliki here with us. And he's geared up. That's right, and this time he's packing. As we can see, he's got a GoPro. It looks like it's on a little sideways. You gonna be able to do this on your own? No, 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 come this way. Come back here. <laughs> he says, I'm not so sure about this. I think I'll help him down. You stay there. Careful, Michael. Okay. 
Good boy, Wonder Dog Kaliki. Okay, well here's the scoop. It's rather treacherous on these, well I don't know what they call it treacherous, but one must be careful when going over this moss here. As we can see it's quite verdant and that means if you're walking out you'll be slip and slide if you know what I mean. So the idea is to kind of walk on these brown areas, kind of grayish I guess and not to get on the green stuff. Well, look at that, that's not interesting. Uh, nature does some very odd things here. Go figure. So this is a nice plate that has got some indentions and some eruptions here with little nodules here and there. Look at that. That kelp is just loving it here, isn't it? Well, people say not to walk on the top of these, and you can really see why. That is um, beyond slippery. <laughs> and it's just a huge bed of it. And going out this way, we can see that some of these are uncovered. Yeah, I guess you could stand on top of that one if your feet weren't too wet, but guess what? If you're out here in tennis shoes or anything rubber soled, I doubt you'd be out here in leather. It's going to be pretty slippery. Well, I'd like to get a shot here where I can get some, but I don't want to use my tennis shoes, so that means I go to plan B. Rocks old, slippery, Kaliekster, as you well find out. Sometimes four-wheel drive is a good thing, but you can see what's happening there. He is um, doing a slip and slide. Careful. Show off. <laughs> I think he wants to go to the ocean. Yes, he does. That's where he's heading. What do you say, Kaliki? Oh, you see another dog? Wait. Wait, new. No. Come here. Oh, you had a little morning bath, did you? Come here. Good. Good. Good boy. Well, this is not good. You can see the water is coming in like nobody's business right now, and the sun has not yet come up. So, hmm. How much time do we have left? Who will win the race? <laughs> the water all of a sudden is just coming like nobody's business here. Look at that. Uh oh. I think the water's going to win. What do you think? See these little trails here? I thought they were rather fascinating. And it's Mr. Snail. He's even made a little figure eight there. Um, showed it to Grace and she thought you brought me all the way out here for that? <laughs> well back in the 1700s people these might be dinosaur eggs or some fossils or maybe ancient human artifacts extraterrestrial mysteries but it turns out these are sandstone concretions it's a, which is a type of mineral cement so nature formed these before even all that huge slabs underneath making them harder and even longer lasting. Oh, we got a bit of morning sun and that felt so good. So it's finally starting to peek through. What did you see? Your son. What the heck? Look at that boy. He's just right up in the middle of that kelp bed. <laughs> We'd be busting our buns out there.
enjoying that water, aren't you? So Bowling Ball Beach is truly an amazing oddity with thousands of nearly identical 10 foot or so diameter spheres that sit about 100 feet um, in the high water shoreline and extending for hundreds of yards either way. And if you hit the tides just right, as well as the sun, you'll be blessed with awesome photos. Tasted salty ocean air. 